Hello YouTube, today we're going to be looking at SSL hijacking and IP tracing with Kane Enable. Uh, this is a SSL feeding software and as they say, Microsoft Corporation password recovery software but I have not technically found that, all I have found is different passwords that have been traced. Um, to find Kane Enable, just open up your internet browser, just type in Kane and not and Kane Enable. The actual um, website where Kane Enable can be found is on uh, oxid.it and the download link that you want is the second type uh, turquoise link because the top one is now discontinued not supported anymore as it says. Um, just download it will pop straight into your file here's one that's just been there um it will appear that it's malicious it isn't it's what um most people would call a false positive it's uh, detected as a virus but is not a malicious virus in the sense it's not even a virus um mm -mm. uh other things you may need uh just feel free to comment below on what you do need. Um, first off you want to go to configure and configure your uh, IP address uh, usually it's just the default um, router that would be 192.168.0.1 or it's just the double digit one at the bottom it's on the subnet mask and gateway so as you can see it's ethernet so it's all good to go as long as you configure just apply ok you then want to open the sniffer these are all things that I've um, loaded up from a previous attempt uh, let's just remove all um, open up your sniffer um, go and click the sniffer button and then click uh, add to list all hosts in my subnet ok this will now scan your local area connection for anything that's found uh, top one it, the default gateway is always your router as you can see there's an apple a sony computer entertainment and a research in motion all on here what you then want to do is go to the APR or um, the APR poisoning catch and as you can see the plus is now hidden this is because you have opened the APR tab let's remove that to bring up the plus just uh, click onto the top table apply the add to list uh, for the first window apply your uh, router and everything else on here as you can see has come up on the second window select any random um, IP address to the softwares that you know of so I just um, check in another utility So we'll go with um, what's the research motion 0.5. Okay, as you can see, uh, this the main rotor has um, not been um, touched yet. It's still idle, still basically protected, not been altered in any other way. The IP address for the um, device we're gonna uh cache is uh 192.168.0.5 research in motion to poison click and highlight and then click the apr and it will come up poisoning sometimes a message will appear um of an error of a thread that is nothing to worry about it is completely fine there is a way to get rid of them but i'm not too sure how you may need to look that up on another video uh, whilst poisoning, um, there's a 
there's all um, different um, DNS things you can go on. Here's a uh, load here. See these are all um, actual things here being loaded up. As you can see, HTTP, these are all the different usernames, uh, user field key, pass field pass, authorization type, and basic forms, and everything like that. Um, here are the uh, different um, subnets and masks that you may need to uh, open and look for other um, what are they called? passwords and other utilities that you may need uh, on the sniffer in the APR and root and catch it will come up with um, various types of uh, various types of um, passwords uh, what's happened while they get sniffed out when they're looked at and all um, different things and things like that it's, it's a great tool to um, just mess around with, see what you can do with. It is really, really good software. Doesn't cost you a penny. Guaranteed safety. It is. It is a really, really good port and everything else to be using. As you can see, SSL servers, ports, um, host names, certificate file, and what else you can find. Uh, that's um that's it for this video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, whatever you need below. Um, any other parts that you may need to ask about, feel free to personal message. And yeah, till then.